Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up your Oculus Quest so you can use it to play games on Steam VR. And I've, I've got a video covering how to set it up on, you know, for playing Oculus Quest games on your PC, you know, with your gaming PC. This is a, essentially an extension of that video, but I am actually going to recap over, you know, what was done in there. One, it's very quick, and two, you know, if I'm being honest, the video could have been a little better. So if you're looking just to connect to Oculus and just play Oculus games, then probably the first half of the video, and then the second half as well, if you want to use it for Steam VR to play games like Half-Life Alex, amazing game, Stormland, I'm trying to think, you know, what else you might want to play on there. There's Boneworks, you know, all, all that other, you know, cool stuff. Okay, so first of all, make sure you have your Oculus Quest updated to the latest version. Make sure you have Steam VR downloaded. So, so there's a few pieces of software you need. Not Steam VR, sorry. Steam, just regular Steam first. So you need to download Steam. And you can just go here. I will provide a link to everything that you need. Click install Steam. Obviously, make sure you have a Steam account. Click install Steam. You'll download an EXE. Go through the process of opening that up and installing it wherever you want. You from Steam, once you have installed and logged in, you will also need Steam VR. And to get that, if you literally just search for Steam VR, go here, and I've already got it, but this that should be an install button, or you can go to library games, go to tools as well. I'll say deselect games so you can just get what we need. Steam VR will be there. And mine says launch because I've already got installed. But if you were to right click it, it'll say install, install it. And I'll use it for quite a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go off that, go back to the games. That's the Steam side of the installation essentially covered. The next thing that you need to install is the Oculus software. So if we go to Oculus, let's type in software, the Oculus client for rift and you know quest now as well so if you just click download software and again just go through the process of installing that and you will get this obviously make sure you open it up log in with your oculus account and you will get this and from here there's a few things that we need to do actually two things really go to settings go to general this step is optional but i highly recommend it make sure unknown sources is selected no like so the reason for this is on our oculus when we connect it and we connect it to the oculus rift software on here there's a, you know a library where we can play our oculus games we'll need to launch steam vr up once you've launched it once that steam vr icon will be in the library if you have unknown sources checked if you don't then you'll have to go through the entire not the entire process but just in the process of going into virtual desktop which i'm going to show you anyway but you know it's just save some time okay next we want to go to devices and now we actually want to connect our oculus quest so you need obviously a cable to do this make sure you've got a usb 3.0 port on your computer free and this is my cable as you can see it's not very long at all see how big it is it's, it's less than a meter long and yeah you're not going to get much movement so if the my, my, my port's here and like this will you know literally go into my headset there i can't really move much so what i've got is an extension lead this is from ugreen ugreen do not do the cheapest cables but they do 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 they do some of the best quality cables i've tried an amazon basics cable it was hit and miss even when he worked, he was a bit patchy. So I'd recommend stretching and spending the money on getting a good quality U green one. What I like about the U green, uh, this is a U green active cable. I will provide a link to an anchor cable and to one of these U green ones as well. What I like is they have a micro USB port, and this is, if for some reason what you're trying to connect using this cable need more power and the usb port isn't providing it you can literally connect this to a power sport and literally directly into the wall if you want to they can get extra power which is something that's great so first of all connect this to your pc this is the extension lead 
connect the extension lead to your USB 3.0 lead, which is my anchor lead. And now, now what we want to do, I'm going to put this over here. Now we want to connect this. Actually, we'll, we'll wait. We want to click add headset, click quest, click continue. And now get the headset up. Obviously make sure the headset is on, updated to the latest version. Connect this up. Wait for this to go green. It's connected. Connect it down there. There we go, it's gone green. If it goes orange with an exclamation mark in there, you know, you can hover over it and see what the problem is. It, it'll probably be something like can't get enough power, it might be connected to a USB 2.0 port. Even if you've got it connected to a USB 3.0 port, if you're using let's say a cheaper extension lead like with the Amazon Basics, certain USB ports, because they're on a different controller, you know, USB controller inside on my computer, they get the exclamation mark on another port, which is like over here, they don't get the exclamation mark. So, you know, it depends. So that, that's the reason you want to use a good quality extension lead. So click continue. You can click continue, but I say just test connection, you know, just this once you're testing, make sure it is okay. It'll tell you in a second what the bandwidth is. And what's done. There you go. Bandwidth is 1.7 gigabits. This is what it is producing. And uh, I mean, all of this is producing compatible connection. Click continue, click close. And you don't need to set these up as long as they have been connected to your Oculus Quest, you know, Prior to this, you're all good to go. So now, if I was to just minimize this, I'll keep it open. But what you want to do is put your headset on, and what you will get is a little prompt on your Oculus Quest saying "Enable Oculus Link Beta" and click "Enable." It might not be beta when you're doing it, but it's click "Enable" using your controller waiting for the oculus software to load up once it's loaded up i will mirror it to the computer screen so you can see what i'm seeing it has not loaded up yet let's get rid of this one here I have found if it does not load up straight away or pretty quickly, just unplug it, plug the headset back in. That prompt will come back on in a moment for the enable Oculus link. It's just if you have that problem where the Oculus software does not launch and it has now launched. Okay, so you can't actually see it at the moment. So let me launch up Oculus Mirror so you can see it. Yep, so that's literally what I'll be seeing when I put the headset on. There we go. Okay, so make sure you know Steam is installed as well. I mean, installed and launched. So I'll put this back on. So you should be able to see what I'm in Steam. And remember I was saying, if we go to library, to be awkward while I'm sitting down, that's okay. Go to apps, and I will have the Steam VR here. So I can just click that and it'll launch up. That won't be the case for you if you've never installed it. So you want to, I mean, launched it, go to virtual desktop. And obviously the mirror is, you know, obviously there. Go to Steam and literally just click that VR button. Nice launching Steam VR. Don't need that. And there you go. It is launching Steam VR now. So just wait patiently for this to launch. This can take a little bit of time sometimes, especially if it is the first time that you are launching it for it to launch up. Even if this little, little that waiting thing does not pop up straight away, like the first time I did it, it took like a minute or two for it to pop up. It was just that empty sort of scene. And there we go, we are in Steam VR. We're a bit low down because I'm sitting down, but you know, you can move around. Obviously you can move around by actually standing up as well i've just got it set to sort of you know stationary mode but you know you, you can do whatever you want and then obviously you can go here and then play whatever game you 
want. So Half-Life Alex, Boneworks, Aperture Hand Lab, Hand Lab, great. Star Trek, Stormland, whatever you want. ILMX Lab, that's also a great one. A quick one, but also a great one as well. And then you can grab stuff as you normally would. Don't want to mind that too far just in case I hit the screen, but that is it. That is how you connect up the Oculus Quest. So I'm going to actually take this off now. So, okay, so it, it, it seems that you wasn't seeing it. So let me sh show you again with the Steam VR edition. So there we go. So this is what you would have been seeing. So again, like I said, just wait patiently if it's in a loading screen, but this is what you basically would have been seeing. And that's it. That's how you connect your Oculus Quest to your gaming machine. This does not eliminate the gaming machine aspect for, you know, the Oculus games on the on your PC, you know, the Rift games or the Steam VR game. You still need an appropriate computer this literally just acts as a headset then and it isn't using the hardware inside to power the games maybe they might implement a feature where they could use this as an extra sort of you know piece of hardware for horsepower and they could offload some of the processing onto it highly doubt they're going to do that because chances are if you've got a vr you know compatible computer like a, with something like a gtx 970 GTX 1080, RTX 2080 Ti, look what I've got. Dead having a quest connected and getting its horsepower really doesn't make much of a difference. But that is it, that is how you connect it to play games like Half of Alex, Boneworks, Stormland, whatever. If you have any questions regarding cables, regarding any little stage of this process or VR in general, feel free to let me know and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.